So what exactly is the current standard of care when it comes to blood pressure monitoring and how might it change in the near future? Welcome to today's discussion where we get into my compelling Doctor of Nursing practice project titled Establishing a New Standard of Care Use of Automated Office Blood Pressure Monitoring in Primary Care. At the heart of this project is the health belief model, a psychological model that helps us understand why people make the health decisions they do. This model has six core components, each of which plays a crucial role in this project. Firstly, we have perceived susceptibility. This is the belief a person has about their chances of getting a condition, in this case, hypertension. Automated office blood pressure monitoring can aid in increasing a patient's awareness of their risk, encouraging proactive steps towards managing their blood pressure. Next, we have perceived severity. Hypertension is a serious condition that can lead to heart disease and stroke. By using automated office blood pressure monitoring, healthcare providers can underscore the gravity of uncontrolled hypertension, helping patients understand why managing their blood pressure is crucial. Then there's perceived benefits. Automated office blood pressure monitoring has several advantages over traditional methods. It's more accurate, more consistent, and by highlighting these benefits, Patients might be more likely to engage in blood pressure monitoring and follow their treatment plans. Perceived barriers are next. These are the obstacles that prevent a person from taking action. Traditional blood pressure monitoring methods can be inconvenient and uncomfortable. Automated office blood pressure monitoring, on the other hand, can help overcome these barriers, making the process much easier for patients. Cues to action are the triggers that prompt a person to take action. In this case, the use of automated office blood pressure monitoring can serve as a reminder for patients to prioritize their health and regularly monitor their blood pressure. Lastly, we have self-efficacy. This refers to a person's belief in their ability to successfully take action. Automated office blood pressure monitoring coupled with the right education and tools can boost a patient's confidence in managing their blood pressure effectively. In conclusion, the health belief model provides a comprehensive approach to blood pressure management by addressing patients' beliefs and motivations. It serves as a valuable framework for the establishing a new standard of care, use of automated office blood pressure monitoring in primary care project, allowing for a systematic exploration of patients' perspectives on blood pressure management. This was my doctoral of nursing practice project guided by the health belief model has the potential to revolutionize blood pressure monitoring leading to better health outcomes for patients what an exciting prospect for the future of primary care press the like button to get us found on youtube and subscribed for more videos released weekly